everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sunday is supposed to be a relaxing day, and I'm pumped up for what I wanna do. But a newspaper which has the title "A man convicted of sexually harassing a young woman in an elevator must pay a two hundred thousand Vietnamese dong fine." Put the damper on my day. And this make me feel so pressed. From my perspective, I do not think that such a harasser who has indecent speech and behavior toward a young lady deserves this punishment. To make sense, I would consider three circumstances about this serious problem. So I would start off by saying that if I were that girl, I would have done exactly what she did. Like she tried to exit the elevator and report the case to the news agency promptly. She then checked the CCTV footage to give the necessary evidence so that the perpetrator was arrested and have to commit his crime. <laughs> Get to the next point. In case I were the lady's relatives, I would take the harassers to the court and make him pay for his action. Cause you know, blood is thicker than water. Due to the long-term financial, social, economic, physical, and spiritual repercussions of sexual assault, I assure you that a two hundred thousand Vietnamese dong punishment served as a deterrent for this individual. On going, I would find a barrister to prosecute him and make sure that this perpetrator received a severe retribution, no less than sentencing him to prison. No, 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 no. Furthermore, provided that I was a law-abiding citizen, I would write posts on my social network and lean on the power of the media to disseminate this unfair situation. Being an intellectual class, I believe that I should speak up to warn people about protecting themselves and others as well. I know for certain my action is just a drop in the bucket. However, at least it can change the mindset of the majority and lead them to action. So thank you for watching my video. Goodbye and see you next time.